Hello to everyone. Good welcome to this free master class on Buddhist view meditation and action. We are answering today the question about Buddhism. Who am I? Do you know that the main point in all Buddhist philosophy and psychology is about this uh, self called self and I? So, if you would like to know more about the nature of um, the self, please stay to the end because we have something to learn together. In this master class, uh, you will learn first the so the meaning behind the so-called the silence of the Buddha. Why he reminds of silence? The alternative that he presents to the world, what I call the big picture. So, to start, I will tell a small story of what happened on his uh, so-called silence. The Buddha was on his path and a wonder ascetic called Bacha came to him and asked metaphysic questions. Is there an eternal uh, creator? God and as well uh, eternal self, the soul, yes or not. The Buddha remained in silence. And uh, Bacha, the wonder ascetic, uh, seeing that he didn't get his uh, answers, then uh, he left. So after some time, so when he left, the uh, disciple of the Buddha, Ananda, asked him to the Buddha, why you didn't answer those metaphysical questions to Vacha, the wonder ascetic? And the Buddha said, if I would give affirmative response to the questions of Vacha, uh, the ascetic, wouldn't be this seen as I am taking sides with an eternalist. If I would give the, the answer on the negation side to those questions, wouldn't I be seen as a nihilist, having a nihilist point of view, and, and, and understood the message of the middle path? So they walk and then continue. But after some times, the Buddha saw the need of explaining those things because they were a very passionate debates between eternalists and nihilists, and they have even conflicts in some time, you know. So then he got what I call the big picture. So he is, is said that he himself draw this big picture in some way, mentally, yeah, of, and he calls the 12 link of dependent origination and describe one by one in a very detail, in such a detail than, than describe how the self, how the universe, how the mind originates and everything, even than is beginners less but the patterns forming uh, arising abiding uh, and dissolving into emptiness again and again each of them so to specify i will not go for all of them but i will tell just the three of them yeah the first one is represented by a blind man and it's called ignorance i say uh, mental oscuration and here, you remember from the previous video, no recognize the essential nature of the mind is the primary cause yeah, of what is called ignorance. In Tibetan, it's maripa, an awareness of the essential nature of the mind. So the second one is uh, karmic formation, represents by the potter giving shape to the clay. 
And here is where it is the secondary course to samsara, contributory course. You remember from the previous videos. Then it comes to the third uh, representation, which is a monkey on the top of the tree, up and down. And this is representing the mind, the mental continuum, or the self-consciousness. And here it is where the third course you remember the manifesting course because this is the course the manifesting course of everything is here on this mental continuum anyway so with this three we enclose yeah this will and will continue to explain more and more but what to say is in the nucleus of this 12 there is the root of the first will of dharma the, the Four Noble Truth, which is represented by the three animals. There is a pig, ignorance. There is a rooster, desire. This uh, snake representing hate. So these are, are the main poisons, the black hole which brings us into samsara. And this will of Dharma gives inspiration, the philosophic view of the second will of the Dharma, and this is, has given uh, meditative experience to the third will of Dharma, and uh, uh, fruit to the fourth will of Dharma of Dzogchen, and if there is a fifth will of Dharma to synthesize all in the present uh, state, you know, that will come from here as well, because this will of Dharma, oh, the 12 dependent origination uh, links is alive. This is the one which is protecting us. Anyway, to synthesize all this masterclass about oneself, uh, I will give a small quotation from the Buddha himself that he says, Whoever experiences the unity of life will see its own self in everyone, and he will see in everyone its own self. I think it's clear. That means this is the middle path, which is telling there is no independent existing entity as self, a soul. We are existing, but interdependent of each other. So I hope this is understood because it is the root cause of our spiritual development. This opens our heart, gives uh, us wisdom and compassion, and this is the root of true love. For each other so anyway i hope um, you like it, this video and give you a thumb up please and if you will like please uh, subscribe and then we'll see you on the next video see you again my friends